Welcome to another episode of Kicks and Trips. I'm Sean, also known as Sneaker AFI or Sneaker Afi, which means Sneaker Aficionado. Welcome to the channel. Make sure you go ahead and uh, subscribe, share it to your friends. So this year, 2020, crazy year, COVID, Kobe passing away, rest in peace Kobe. Uh, what's also this year is Air Max 90, 30th anniversary. So Nike's been blessing us with all types of Air Max 90s this year. We've gotten the Volt colorway. We've gotten the Tiffany blue. We've gotten, I got some of them over the corner. I got purple. Actually not up there, they're down there. Purple, we got sport blue, some orange, some lime, some other things. So what they did bless us with is the Air Max Galaxy, which I'm gonna show you in a few minutes. But <clears throat> I'll tell you about the Air Max Galaxy. This was actually a hard one to pick up for me. I know in some states it was sitting. Don't know why. It's a pretty decent shoe. Uh, it kind of gives me vibes of 2012 All Star Game that they had in Orlando. Uh, anybody remembers that 2012 Galaxy year? I mean, all those sneakers that came out for the All Star Game were fire. I mean, that's what these sneakers actually remind me of. I mean, you're talking about the the Galaxy Phone Posits, the Galaxy Air Flight Ones. Those Kobe 7s, rest in peace Kobe, those LeBron 7s, those Kevin Durant 7s, or actually it was the Kevin Durant 4s that came out, uh, all those came out in 2012. I'm going to go ahead and get to the sneaker now because it kind of gives me the same vibes. So here you have an Air Max 90, uh, official colorway is black metallic silver, uh, it's a size 11, retails for 130 and this is actually supposed to be a Foot Locker exclusive. But I know you can get it at Foot Action as well. I think Champ Sports um, as well. And it may still have some of these out in the stores. If not, you also check out your GOATs and your StockXs. Um, I actually had to get these from an actual fellow sneakerhead uh, friend. Shout out to CJ Sneakerhead, who uh, I used to sell sneakers to or trade sneakers with. Back in the day, uh, he hooked me up. First time I've actually uh, seen him in a couple years, so it was good to see him. And that's what hooked me up. So yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at these. Nothing special with the box, just a regular Nike box. Um, actually glad they didn't give us, because uh, you know, Air Max 90s, especially those uh, old school ones with the OG colorways, they've been giving us those half boxes and smushing the sneaker box half the size. They actually gave us a full size box for these, so I'm actually happy about that. Ooh, man, these things are clean. You see it right on the camera. The colors just pop. So what you have right here in the toe box, you got this uh, this Galaxy. I guess it's supposed to be the Galaxy right there. Uh, stitching in there. I'm not sure, what kind of it looks like feels like a. Oh, I couldn't even tell you what the material is. It just it looks this looks real good. Uh, you got the blue stitching right here. All right, on the uh, on this panel right here, you got the blue stitching. You got uh, some feels like new buck right there, possibly. Right here, you got. Uh, this is crazy materials that they got on this on this shoe. But you got the metallic swoosh with the uh, that hot pink stitching right there, and the little window. You have the Air Max on the midsole, white midsole. You got the speckle, the black speckle uh, on the mud guard. You got the hot pink air bubble on the outsole. It's a mix of aqua and white. And Guess it's hot pink again. On the hill tab, got that Nike Air in black. Got the white on the shield. Still got that same galaxy pattern throughout. Still got that blue stitching. So on the medial side, no different. On the tongue, still got that galaxy on the tongue. The actual tongue tag, metallic. Kind of looks futuristic. I guess that was the whole idea. Yeah, on the insole here, you got the uh, you got the Galaxy right there with the little check right there. It's an overall nicely done sneaker. Um, on the other side, no difference, of course. And then you have a nice little futuristic uh, hang tag here. You know, we're used to getting the big old Nike, uh, the N Nike Air Square, whatever the case may be. But actually, for this one, we just got a nice, nice little simple tag right here it says Nike on one side on the other side it says 2020 
so yeah i kind of I, I do like these um this might be one of my favorite air max 90s that have come out this year i mean still 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 got enough years still got half a year to go but uh I, I'd, I'd be surprised to see if there's anything that comes out that's gonna um be any better than these but you know i'll say this and then you know not get put out some new fire who knows uh but for right now i like these so uh let me go ahead and give you a quick on the feet and uh after that you let me know what you think Again, let me know what you think in the comments. Like, hit the thumbs up, subscribe, share. Thank you for watching. Again, I'm Sean, Sneaker AFI, Sneaker Aficionado, and we're out.